Think of being in a freezer and then somebody puts your face directly into a big pile of wet ice cubes. That's what it feels like. I'm speaking to Lisa Kelly. She's a scuba diver with National Geographic and she leads expeditions in Antarctica and the Arctic. Temperatures in Arctic waters typically range between 25 and 35 degrees Fahrenheit. Because the waters are so cold, divers have to use special gear. This includes the use of a dry suit. These suits actually keep divers dry when they're underwater. I like to call it a self-induced state of hypothermia, really, because even though you're dry, you're still going to get cold. And that is such a shock on people's systems. Unfortunately, there have been deaths due to cardiac incidents because of that. Aside from the cold, there are other things that divers need to be on a lookout for. Walrus, and, uh, and to a certain extent, polar bears. Animals like killer whales reverberate sound. We call it pinging. It sounds like a gunshot underwater. It can go right through you. But Lisa Kelly says that diving in the Antarctic and the Arctic is an unparalleled experience. And it starts on the boat. That initial feeling when you fall back in the water, it's just the sound of you breathing through your regulator. It suddenly becomes your own little world. All of a sudden, all these amazing colors start to pop out. It, it really is a whole other universe. And in Antarctica, you're there in a place where possibly nobody has ever dived before. 